So we are done with Bel Air season one. Tenth episode dropped today. And so just like I told you on the last video, I knew that Lou was going to be on this episode. Um, I will say this. Overall, I was slightly underwhelmed. I wanted more of a cliffhanger. It just, I'm going to go fast forward to the end and then come back get more in detail with the episode but you know it just ended with will and jazz having a heart to heart about the decisions that um will should make because will was trying to leave bel-air so anyway lou dropped by which was played by marla wayans everybody was thinking it was going to be will smith I felt like that would have been too easy. I knew it was going to be somebody that we all know. And Marlon Wayans is really underrated with his um, drama, drama skills, because we know him from uh, pretty much doing comedy, you know, for the most part. So I waited all this time to see what the big deal was with Lou, and it was just that he was in prison most of Will's life. Um, but they made it seem like... Lou uh, abandoned him when he was really just locked up. I thought it was going to be something a little bit more like, you know, he had a body or something. Like, sorry about the camera shaking. I really did not feel like standing up um, in front of the ring light. But anyway, so Lisa again was annoying as hell on this episode crying and whining one thing she keeps talking about we slept together i slept with you like girl you were the one that unbuttoned started unbuttoning your blouse and told him you you, you didn't want to go downstairs i mean you acting like he was pressuring you to have sex with him or something like that her character is she was all right but the last few episodes it's like girl if you don't chill out um so Jeffrey did not show up this episode. He went on ahead and stayed uh, gone, but everybody figured out that Philip pretty much tried to fire him, but he, you know, as he stated, let's just make it look like I'm having a family emergency or something. So I kind of hate that. I really hope Jeffrey comes back. I don't, I think we're going to learn more about him next season and season two has been approved. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but season two will be coming back. Uh, now, nowadays, I notice episodes, because, you know, back in the day, like, if you look on any kind of streaming service and look at an old sitcom, like, I don't know, just throwing something out there, for, uh, Fresh Prince, okay, uh, Family Matters, anything like that, they had, like, 20 some episodes. What they did was, because there's 52 weeks in a year. What they did was they showed those 20-something episodes and they would show a rerun every now and then. Um, and that would be one season. But what they do now is they just have like eight or ten episodes. Then they just, instead of putting 20 in one episode, they just make it like ten episodes. Cause So season two of Bel Air will probably, it's April. You might as well say it's April 1st. Uh, Bel Air season two will probably be coming out this fall like October November probably that's what I'm getting so like I said that the majority of this episode was was centered around Will and his dad and I feel like they could have did so much more with it um I felt like it, they should have had a cliffhanger of Will meeting his dad and then the episode goes off and we have to wait and sit on our fingers until season two but it's like the way it ended it's just like I'm gonna watch season two but it, it wasn't like oh man what's gonna happen next because when Will got mad and ran up out the house I'm like first of all did you order a plane ticket because where are you going with your bags and I know mansions are not close to other buildings like that so are you gonna walk four or five miles till you get to the main road and then like catch the bus to the airport like i you know i know he was pretty much going off of emotions that's why you gotta take your time and think now i'm still trying to figure out how bad lou is i really want to know about this season too because the fact that his mother said he abandoned you 
and everybody was making a big deal about it. Jeffrey got fired over it. What is what is he into? Okay, he he went to prison. He he robbed a man. I just really want to see what we need to some more some more backstory on Lou because why couldn't Vi just be like, um, your dad is in prison and I mean. If you if you want to reach out to him, I can get some information for you. Um, I know some people are divided over that. Like some people feel like you shouldn't want your child to see you in an orange jumpsuit in prison. And some people say you should be in a child's life no matter if you free or not free. So I don't know. I think that, you know, whatever comes to light, whatever's in the dark comes to light. So now when Will meets Lou, they try to have a talk. And it ends up blowing up to the point where they just cussing each other out because he was basically like, you know, Vi was on my tail. She was making me, she was making me try to go, making me go hustle, get money, blah, blah, blah. So, I, you know, I ain't had no choice. And then he was like, you know, she ain't appreciated. So, of course, it was going to get defensive because it's like, you can't sit there and talk about my mother like that. Like, you knew in town. Like, yeah, you're my dad, but I don't know you like that. So, you just going to come here and talk about my mom? So yeah and Carlton definitely did a 180 because the first three episodes when they dropped them first three it it had everybody like this dude he was like the villain of the show I'm sorry about this This phone really shaking y'all the villain of the show okay and then it's like people are sympathetic with him now they know he got some some issues some emotional issues going on and what have so I'm, I'm glad I'm glad to see the character growth in him. What I want to see for season two, I want to see some backstory on Lou, some backstory on Jeffrey. I need some him and Lisa. I don't know. It's kind of unrealistic. I think another reason why it's driving me crazy is kind of unrealistic. Like high school boys don't really most of the time be that into one girl and I ain't saying they should make Will be like a man a little man hoe but it, it just seems unrealistic how he's so into her like how many months has it been since they've met I just you know um but yeah they need to do some with that story I really want to see some more of Will and Jazz like you know in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air they was you know buddy buddies whereas on Bel-Air it's kind of like they're cool but they ain't like just like kicking it with each other like that but again, it's its own show. But I just want to see. I just want to see more jazz. Period. I'm just gonna be honest. I just want to see more jazz, more Jeffrey. Uh, Ashley storyline. I want to see some more with Ashley. I don't want them to just do the. She's gay. She's coming out. Like okay, but there's more to her than just her sexuality. Sexuality. I need to see more of that. I'm cool with the Vivian storyline and her art and her art being an artist i just don't want her to cheat with michael ely or anybody else i don't want any either one of them to cheat on each other you know i like to see this strong black love on tv let's keep it that way i mean we can add some dramatics but let's keep everybody faithful but yeah so it's over for now i'm trying to see what else i can watch to tell y'all about I know the theaters open up. That one of my favorite theaters up the street, they shut that down. It's AMC. AMC's not doing too good. Regal's pretty much dominating the scene now. But anyway, it is late and I'm about to lay it down, y'all. As always, peace and blessings. Like, share, comment. Please comment. I like talking to y'all. Y'all, y'all just be watching. Don't say nothing. Anyways, I'm about to head on out to the bed. Y'all have a good one.